noticing how all these houses, these huge houses along the beach, and how what my own internal responses are, right? My parts that feel um, judgmental towards how big these houses are, and the how you know just the all these different thoughts that my my um, internal world has about um, about all of this. But I I get it too. Like I realize my this desire to have this house right here on this beach. I mean, look, you wake up every morning and this is what you hear when you go to bed at night. And it's what you see when you get up in the morning and it's so beautiful. And there's something about beauty that um, de it does something to our hearts, to our souls. It pierces us in a way that is so, at the same time, it's so exquisite, it's so um, lush and intense and powerful, and it's painful because it goes, because it doesn't stay and last, and yet there's something in us that aches and longs for more, and so we want to own what is beautiful. We want to have it as our own, and to me, there's not much else that says that, like, a home, um, oceanfront property, right? Like, I will have this beauty as my own. I will keep it, and I will be able to have it whenever I want. I'm going to tell you a little secret that you probably already know. But if you don't, um, I live in one of the most beautiful places in in the world. I mean, I look at pictures these pastoral scenes of England and Scotland and think, oh, I want to go there. It's so beautiful. <laughs> and then I go outside and I look around and I remember where I live back home in Asheville is so beautiful. But there's something that can happen where we can get a little bit anesthetized. We can get a little bit used to and kind of numb to the beauty that is around us when we live in it. And there's beauty to be found everywhere, but I think just the mountains and the ocean are these um, just such stark pictures of beauty, right? It's just right there. Some places you have to search a little bit more um, to find the beauty because there's so much concrete. But, um, but, but living in the mountains, I've noticed that I can go about my day as, in, in, as if it's just another ordinary place and I can miss the beauty that I'm surrounded by. So what I've found is it requires intention, it requires remembering, it requires me to sit and notice, to pay attention, to take it in and to really to allow um, myself to be broken open again and again and again by beauty. And what I noticed recently when I was up by the, the Toe River, the South Toe River, on the back side of Mount Mitchell, if any of you like geography. Um, and it's one of my favorite little spots, and it is, it's, it's, a diff it's different than the ocean, right? But it's this other body of water. It's surrounded by rocks and trees, and it is stunning. It is spectacular in the beauty. It's much like the ocean, right, that captures us. It's so grand. It's um, and if you see over there, even right now, there's just the way the sun is on the water. I don't know if you can see it, but it's just, it's really spectacular. And I was at this, this place at the Toe River, and I was just, there was, a, there was a sense of being undone by how beautiful it was. And just tears came to my eyes, and my heart felt like it was being broken. And I began to consider that when our hearts break, they're not breaking into small pieces. They're breaking open so that they're expanding, so there's room for more. So when we allow it, beauty is this tremendous gift from the good kind spirit that allows our hearts to be broken open. Although that's back or are um, kind of 
just want to invite you to notice those things and I would love to hear from you 